come, uh, have them come up, introduce themselves. Actually, Auntie Anne, I kind of prepared our way earlier for the Bible drill, but we're not doing Bible drill today. We're just gonna be doing some of the uh, uh, practice. So let's introduce, have them introduce themselves first, okay? All right, go ahead. Give your, give us your name and uh, don't give your age. Your name <laughs> and what do you do with live right now? Okay. Great. Okay, ready? Blue. Go. Um, my name is Josh. I am a college student, uh, and I work at a physical therapy office. Perfect. Well, how many years you before you graduate? Uh, one more year. Sounds good. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Uncle Peter. I am in the seventeenth grade. <laughs> Yeah, 17th grade. Yeah. 17th. He's in graduate school, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am Joe Saya, but you just call me Joe. It's easier to say that way. I am the, in 14th grade. <laughs> <laughs> in my second year in college. Uh, what I do, I currently am a student, but I also run track. So if you guys want to run track, just let me know and I'll help you out. <laughs> He'll run with you. He's business for you already. All right. So Auntie Anna, would you do the honor? Call the attention? Oh, and then we'll have verses on the... Okay, Uncle, Uncle, uh, can you please uh, advance the slide? Okay, next one. Perfect. All right. You're not, you're not supposed to see that. Hey. Oh, oh, not complete. That's okay. I gave you the verse already in advance. All right. Okay. Auntie Anna will call the, uh, okay. Boys and girls, you're the judge. Okay. You already did earlier this, but I want you to watch. Okay. Can we do it in 10 seconds? Can you do 15? Okay. So I was 15 first. Okay. 15 seconds. Okay. Okay. No, no, no negotiation here. All right. So can you call attention to these verse first? Auntie Anna. And then, uh, okay. All right. Listen. 15 seconds, right? Bible? Oh, this is like, oh. <laughs> you, you do great. Psalm 100, verse 1 and 2. Go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, six seconds. He cut his fingernail last night. Time. Okay, just a second. Read that verse. Now, everybody, look at, the, look at the screen. Make sure that he got it right. Read. Shh. Oh, good job. All right. What's the, what's the, what's the command? At ease. Go back. 10 seconds, right? Psalms 97, 9. Go. Five seconds. Seven seconds. Time. Look at the screen. All right. All right. One more verse. Oh. All right, five seconds, okay? Oh, it's, oh. <laughs> I'm counting. Psalms 118, 24. Go, go. Three, four, time. Ah, oh, my gosh. It's five seconds. Hey, okay, you got it. All right. Go ahead. Okay, all right. Okay. I want two volunteers who's brave enough to come up. Oh, we're gonna do. You know what? For this, we do 15 seconds. 15 seconds for you guys. Okay. Shh. Ready? Ah. Hey, don't, don't laugh, eh? We're gonna wait for our little friend. Oh, good job. Good job. It's really fun. You should try this at home. Yeah. Okay, all right. Very good. Thank you, Auntie Anna. Okay, well, thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Josiah. You can give me the Bibles back. Thank you so much. So, what? Give me a one tip, one tip from uh, doing Bible drill, all of you. Just one from each one of you. You go first. Just one, one tip. tip. What, what? What would they learn? What would they 
If they want to practice at home, what do they do? If you, you want to demonstrate? Well, if you practice at home, you better have a Bible first off. <laughs> Good first step. Good first step. Second, no don't. Shh, listen, listen. Gotta have Bible at home. Uh, don't, don't cut your fingernails. Or <laughs> <laughs> if you cut your fingernails, it's not gonna work that well. Okay, thank you. Next one, next one, Peter. One tip. So then, uh, when you're flipping a Bible, Shh, listen. You wanna generally know where certain books are. Yes. So we had a lot of songs today, right? Yes. So for songs, you're gonna Shh, try listen. to the middle of the Bible. So if I go to the middle right here. See, I'm in Psalms. Yes. Right? And then Genesis is right in the beginning. Revelation is right there. And yeah. Very good. Thank you. That's a good tip. How about Josiah? Any more tip for them? Memorize the books of the Bible because oh, that way good. you have to know, like, if, like, the teacher says, oh, let's turn to a different passage like Matthew. Like, oh, I know where Matthew is. First book of the New Testament. After that, it's Mark and John. So you kind of memorize, you're like, oh, you know, I know where everything is. So it's like, Good. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. Your excuse. Thank you so much for helping us. All right, boys and girls. The whole point of having you guys try to do the Bible drill, actually, all these verses, all these verses, gonna help us to know why we worship God. Okay. In fact, in the Bible, God teaches us different ways to worship God. Right. Just now, we talk, look at this one right here on the screen. He says, come, us, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Okay, this one, Psalm 153, 5. We didn't get to flip to it. I encourage you to do it at home. You have a Bible at home? Open it. Uh, just try it at home. It's really fun. You, can, you learn about the verses, and you read. When you get to it, you get so excited. This one says, praise him with trumpet blast. Trumpet. Praise him with harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Wow. Praise him with flute and strings. What do we see in here? Do you see? Yes. I think definitely it's like what? Yes. Guitar or different musical instruments. You can worship God with different instru uh, musical instruments. You can see we've got piano here. The drum set behind this uh, uh, this barrier, this uh, this uh, this what I call yeah barrier, and then you can re you can praise him with resounding cymbals, right? Yeah, percussion. You gotta play percussion. Who does who does drumming? Good. So you know percussion, right? Symbol or you know or like drum, everything else, right? So boys and girls, you we can worship God in different ways. But why do we worship God? So today, boys and girls, I want you to know. Before you walk out of this classroom, shh, before you walk out of this classroom, I want you to know three things. I want you to know, sorry, I know, that's a typo. It should be made, okay? God made people to worship and honor him. Can you say it with me? God made people to worship and honor him. So boys and girls, you are made by God. You are made by God with a purpose. Last week on TK, you talk about you are Jesus' disciples, right? This whole year, we're learning to be Jesus' disciples. Oh, Last week, Auntie Katie reminds us we are all Jesus' disciples. And disi disciples, we are made to worship God and honor Him. And disciples are given a mission. Okay, so boys and girls, in order for you to do the mission, you have to know that you are made by God to worship Him and honor Him. We'll learn about what worshiping God is all about this entire month. I'm starting lesson number one. You will listen to other speakers when they come in to talk about worship God, okay? Second one, I want you guys to know that you will feel inspired to worship God in different ways. You say, well, Auntie Alice, I know about worship God. We come here, we sing the songs, we pray, we play games, we listen to the word, and we leave, right? Yes. But you know what, boys and girls? Everything that you do here is to worship God. You worship God by singing to Him. You worship God by praying to Him. You worship God by listening to His Word. You worship God by what? Fellowshipping with your brothers and sisters in this place. By playing together, by helping each other to learn. Okay? That's how you worship God. You worship God by obeying Him and listening to His Word. Okay? All right, next one I want you guys to know. Or when you leave here, I want you to do, do what? To try to worship God and honor God in different way, in your own creative way. I know some of you guys have um, recess at school, right? Mm -hmm. Who's starting school tomorrow? Okay. I know when you do recess, right? So, oh, I'm going to go out to play with my friends. Oh, I'm going to go grab that new toy. Well, 
on the playground. I want to go with my friends. I want to see my friend next in next class in next door to my class. But you can worship God even during recess. How do we do that? Okay, how? How do you tell people to glorify God? Say, hey, come here. <laughs> I want you to glorify God. Be a good friend with them, right? Invite them to church. I like that. Thank you. You can sh you can share the gospel with them with new friends. Okay. So you can re you can worship God even by what? By helping them, right? You can worship God by helping them. Maybe one of your friends falls and hurts, right? You say, oh, I'll, I'll help you to go to the nurse office. Okay, you can worship God by helping them. Okay. All right. Okay. So worship God is to show God's worth. So first of all, why do we worship God? Worship God is to show how much God is worth to us. God is valuable to us. Can you think of anything that's valuable to you? What's valuable to you? Your family is valuable to you. Your dog is valuable to you. Okay. Your what? Your kitten is valuable to you. Your chick. Your chicken is valuable to you. Oh wow. You hope we don't eat your chicken. Jesus is valuable to you, okay? I'm sure there's a reason why your dog is valuable to you, yes? Your clothes are valuable to you. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, we, okay, boys and girls, I'm sure in your heart, you know what's valuable to you. Maybe your friends. Maybe it's your family, right? Maybe it's the Bible. Yes, Bible is valuable to me. Me too. Yes, your hearing aid is valuable to you. And he asked something very valuable to me as well. Oh. Okay, this from this is for my it's from my dad. Okay, he served in the Air Force all his life, and he gave me this when he retired from the Air Force. He was an Air Force uh, fighter pilot, so he he flew those airplane, not like the one that you travel on to different country, the world. This is a fighter jet, right? So he flew to go into battle. He flew with the airplane with the weapons on it. So. When he retired, he gave me this to hold on to, and now he's not here with me anymore. So these are precious to me, it's valuable to me. He tells a lot of story of his professional life and how much he sacrificed for our country, okay? So you have something valuable to you, but boys and girls, when you have something valuable to you, just like how God is, is valuable to us, so we worship him because we know how much he is worth to us. So Uncle Tom, can you actually show us this, the verse? In the verse that will sh Tell us from the Bible, why do we worship God? First of all, God is our Savior. Psalm 95, verse 1. Can I have the fifth graders read this, please? Fifth graders, ready, go. Fifth graders. Can you read this, please? Salvation, right? So here it says, God is our Savior. Can you do it again, Uncle Tom? Let's do a highlight of this one. All right, God is our Savior. Okay, God is our Savior. Next one, why do we worship God? God has done so much for us. Okay, fourth grader, Uncle Tom, can you do another verse, please? Fourth grader, ready? Let us come into his presence and Very good. Let's come to him, his presence with thanksgiving. Thank God. Who thank God every single day? Who do you thank God for? What do you thank God for? Good rest. Yeah, I, I believe that's important. Okay. Your new pets. Okay. Food, also important. Oxygen, that's so important. Life. Okay. You thank God for so many things that God's provided for us. Okay. So God has done so much for us. But do you thank God for Jesus? I am. I thank God. For, I'm thankful for Jesus. God is great and mighty. Do you believe that? Yes. What happened in Maui? You guys know what happened in Maui in Hawaii? What happened? Wildfire, right? I believe the death toll has gone up to 80 some people. But do you think God, do you think God's great and mighty can, can comfort those people who lost their family? Okay, God's great and mighty. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Boys and girls, things in life Things like the fire in Maui can happen without our expectation, right? We don't, we don't know. When we go on vacation, we're going to get caught by a wildfire. When we send our loved ones out on the airplane when they go travel to Maui, we didn't know they're going to get stuck in a wildfire. We didn't know that we're going to be able to talk to them or not after they arrive in Maui, right? We thought, I'm going to have a good time and come back. 
Things in life can happen unexpectedly, but how do we deal with that? We have to remember our God is great and mighty. He already knows. He has a plan for every one of us. He has a plan for everything. So we have to trust Him that He is great and mighty enough to comfort us. All right, God is our Creator. You guys talk about、uh, water, food, oxygen, right? So God created us. He planned everything for us. Okay. All right. Next one, please, Uncle Tom. All right. So this psalm here tells us God's hand created everything: the sea, the dry land, the depth of the, the earth,、uh, the heights of the mountain. Okay. Thank you. All right. So God's our Creator. Next one. I should be the last one. God loves us and cares for us. Do you know God? Do you know God loves you and cares for you? No. You don't know that. What、well, time to find out more? Okay, next verse, please. What does that say? Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God, and we are His people. Sorry, well, the people of His pasture, the sheep of His hand. Okay, boys and girls, if you know sheep, right? Once they fall, they cannot get back on their feet. They need a shepherd to help them to get up. And that's how God to us. We are His sheep. He knows that when we fall, we will sin. We will never be able to get back to normal, to to where we don't sin. But God sent Jesus to die on the cross for us and save us, came back to life after three days, and now we can have life by believing Jesus. That's how He cares and loves for us. He provides us for our every need. Okay, so boys and girls, this is important for you to understand. I hope that I encourage you to love God and worship Him. Uncle Tom, can you do another next slide, please? Next one. All right. We talk about how to be creative in worshiping God, right? So you do this at church all the time. How do you do this even when you're not at church? Some of you, you will read the Bible at home with your parents. You pray with your parents at home. Some of you maybe not yet do that at home. Even at even when you're at school, you know, like a lot of you shared earlier, we can talk about Jesus, share Jesus with new friends, right? Win others to Jesus. You can obey God, make decisions. How do I obey God? What does obey What's obeying God look like? Okay, read the Bible, sing praises. We do this at church all the time. Help others. Also, invest in God's word means giving yourself, giving your time. Look at our auntie's uncle here. Auntie Winnie, Auntie Anna, Auntie May, Auntie Stephanie, Uncle Tom—they invest their time here. They serving you here, so you can be here, listen to God's word with all of us. Okay, so remember, giving your time, giving your money, giving your effort, giving your heart—it's also a way to, you know, worship God. Also, pray to God. Okay, so boys and girls, I hope that you get your lesson. Again, know that you are made by God. You're made to worship Him and honor Him. I hope that you feel inspired. Remember to worship God throughout the day, your recess time, class time, at home, at your different activity. Also, pray and worship God in creative ways. Any questions? Okay, if your parents are outside, we're gonna pray and let you guys go. Okay, but before we let you guys go, as we pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for this time. We learn about how to worship you, because you love us and you care for us, and you are our Creator, our Savior, and you've done so much for us. So I ask, our Lord, you be with these boys and girls, help them to worship you throughout the day, through every single week, Lord. Not, not just come to church and worship you; they can worship you when at school, when they're at home. During recess or during other activities, and help them, Lord, to learn to love you and worship you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.